Welcome friends, Retro Commodore Space Magic. Today we're going to take a look at Pango on both the Atari 800 and the Commodore 64. So to play the game, it's sort of a, a simple puzzle game type thing. You're this penguin and you push these ice blocks around and you have to eliminate what the game calls monsters. These other blocks you see here by where we currently are, are diamonds. And if you get all of the diamonds together, you can get a, a special bonus. Now, another benefit of the diamonds is that these, uh, these monsters can't whoop, destroy the diamonds. So that's the basic gameplay of both versions of Pango. Although I do see an issue here. We need to get this diamond in a line up here. Maybe what we can do. And this isn't necessary to to beat the level. This just gets some nice bonus points. And uh, it looks like we're really spending way too much time focusing on trying to get the diamonds just how we want them. So instead, how about we actually just play the game? You try to eliminate as many monsters as quickly as you can. And then how quickly you eliminate the monsters, you get some extra bonus points for that. And then you just play the game like that. Some of that, some of that. Whoop. More monsters incoming. See that one? That, that ice block we just broke, we got some bonus points for because a monster was forming in it, but we were able to uh, destroy the block before the monster formed. Okay, let's try, let's try this. Let's just line these diamonds up along the side here. We should be able to do that pretty easily. That's probably a pretty good idea in general. Bonus points! And then we can just go and collect up... Oh, well, we you, you can, you know, I mean, if you're quick enough. So that is the Atari 800 version of Pango. Now let's look at the Commodore 64 version. And here is the Commodore 64 version of Pango. One player game, the game starts up. Same basic uh, gameplay, same basic rules as the previous version, the Atari 800 version, where you are this delightful penguin out to do various things with these friendly monsters. Uh, Squeak. Now let's see. Where should we go with whoa? This one here? No, they're coming to this away. Now, I believe that every level in the Commodore 64 version is randomly generated. And if one of the monsters touches you, it starts the level over from the beginning. Or it even generates a new level, I think. Well, let's see, is there a way we can get more than one with this ice block here? Well. Better to just get at least one of them. Now come over here and get the little thingies. Whoop, there we go. You can see on the top of the screen where it has the the yellow balls or sort of they sort of look like coins. That is to, that, that's like a basic guideline of, of how many of the monster thingies you need to get. Now, even after you've gotten 
the the amount you're supposed to get, they do keep spawning for a while. But that is your goal. And every time you take out a monster, it should remove one of those yellow coin things. And, and same on the Atari 800 version. Same basic game, really. Just different sounds, different graphics, a little bit different gameplay and how the game actually plays. I will say the Commodore 64 version is more difficult than the Atari 800 version. Well, maybe this time we can line up the diamonds, maybe, except the monstery thing is right there doing its thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we should be able to get both of them, bring this over here, push that down, and then maybe we can get some ice blocks in position up to, oh, look at this, up. should be able to get some ice blocks in position right there. That, that'll be good. And then we get this one over. And then... Bonus points! And then really quick collect up this one. And shift this ice block over. Oh, we just got the one. That's okay, though. We got the one. Oh, just another one. Of course, it's always nice when you can get more than one at once. Besides, it looks fancy. Come on, on the other side of this thing, please. All right, and there's the level. Let's see what we have gotten. 3,000 bonus points. So that is Pango for both the Atari 800 and the Commodore 64. The, Atari, the, the, the Commodore 64 version has better graphics, but the Atari 800 version is actually a little more playable and a little more fun. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe to be notified of whenever I post a new video. Liking is always a wonderful thing to do. And tune in again next time for more retro fun.